What's up guys, my name is David Suarez, and in this video we are talking about some new information about Windows 10 build 14251. Now in this build of Windows 10, there is some mysterious Linux subsystem being built into Windows 10. A prolific Windows hacker named Walking Cat had noted that he found lxcore.sys and lxss.sys, and they're part of Project Astoria. Now Project Astoria was for mobile Windows, mobile Windows 10, which is for mobile devices, which was to bridge Android to Windows Phone, which was be able to give, they wanted to be able to give Windows Mobile all the apps of Android because no one wants to develop for Windows Mobile because it's a, it's a very small demographic. I mean, unfortunately, if you have a Windows Phone, you're a very, very small demographic of the mobile phone space. Now, this project was built inside of Windows Mobile to give you the ability to run Android applications. And as we know, Android is a very, very modified version, mobile version of Linux. Android was built on a Linux kernel. It still uses the Linux kernel. So, this, these new uh, systems, the subsystem, is now in Windows Desktop. So, this means that Microsoft, in this build, is doing some under the table stuff with a Linux subsystem in Windows Desktop. So, personally to me, I don't know how legitimate this finding is. It could be just some leftover files that were brought over from a feature from Windows Mobile to the desktop, or there's something going on where either it's for the servers, which was mentioned in this article, and I'll have the article in the description below. It could be either that the servers are going to be able to run, Windows ser servers are going to be able to run Linux applications at a subsystem level or Linux terminal applications, which will be very interesting to see Windows moving to a more Unix based system instead of being based off like whatever Windows is based off. I'm not actually 100% sure DOS or something. For being based off what it is, we could be seeing a lot more Linux applications possibly running on Windows natively with Microsoft support because Microsoft wants to merge. Microsoft wants to make the Internet of Things. And with this Internet of Things, this just shows me that they're pushing even more. If they let Linux applications run on Windows, this is something to see. It's very interesting to see. that They want to unify Android applications and Windows Desktop, where you can run Android applications on the desktop and on Windows 10 Mobile. That's a possibility, but personally for me, I'm more leaning on the server side. Windows, Microsoft has been really, really pushing Linux on the server with their Azure platform that just added support for Ubuntu. I really feel that this news is that Linux applications for the server side are going to be able to run on Windows servers natively. That's what they're pushing for now, that they're going to make a layer of compatibility on Windows to have it run Linux applications. So you can run your Linux applications on your server and be able to plug into Windows or vice versa, run your Linux applications on a Windows server and plug into a Linux server. They're really trying to unify the, the server space because Linux is taking over and for Windows they're kind of like a they're like a European plug can't plug into an American plug. They're one they're trying to convert their plug tip so it can fit universally to any server that can be deployed. They want to be able to compete with Linux. And I feel that they really want to get the server space back in a big way and I think this is the way to do it. So, what do you think about these mysterious Linux subsystem possibly making an appearance in Windows Desktop? Leave it in the comment section below. These two files were found that point to the Project Azuria, where it is bridging Android to Windows. This is an interesting time. It really is. And I really want to see what this becomes in the future. So, as always, my name is Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.